Hi, I'm Michael and this is California. And under the new Republican Proposed Heals Act, there's actually a lot of provisions that have really big effects on seniors as well as our Social Security and our Medicare system. So this evening, we're going to go over what are some of those provisions that are in the new Heals Act proposal that could have dramatic and long-lasting effects on seniors. Now this is your 5-minute nightly dose, so let's make this quick. But before we do that, if you like this information, if you find it interesting, if you find it helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. The first provision in the Heals Act that relates directly to seniors is actually an additional bill from Republican Senator Mitt Romney called the Trust Act. Now, we're not going to go too deep into it, but essentially what it does is it creates a bipartisan rescue committee that would be able to fast track bills through Congress in order to fix the money problems with the various trust funds like Social Security and Medicare. And at the current rate, these trust funds may become unsustainable by 2035. Now, the magic to these bills is that the rescue committee would be able to work in secret and fast track their decisions via a lower vote requirement to pass. This process would mostly keep their actions and voting records behind closed doors so cuts to social services are hidden from the general public and therefore shielding the rescue committee from any of the political consequences of hobbling public entitlement benefits. One provision that's included in the HEALS Act will make a much needed improvement to the next round of stimulus checks. In the proposal, it would expand the pool of people who are actually going to be eligible for stimulus checks, and it would do this by removing the age restrictions that were on the last round of the stimulus checks for dependents. This would mean if someone is not a child, but is being claimed as a dependent on somebody else's taxes, they would still be eligible for the lower $500 stimulus checks for dependents. With this change in eligibility rules, coupled with some other new ones on the proposal, it means an additional 26 million people will be able to receive the next potential round of stimulus checks. The next provision is for folks who are on Medicare. Under Section 301 of the proposed HEALS Act, Medicare premiums will be held constant from 2020 into 2021, so that means it would stay at $144 a month for Part B. This is in anticipation of a big spike in Medicare costs and deductibles due to increased usage by seniors as a result of the pandemic. Although under the proposal, Medicare Part B premiums would hold steady for 2021, there would still be a $3 surcharge until the shortfall in the Medicare Trust Fund as a result of holding premiums flat is recouped. Another minor provision that's in the proposed Hills Act that might actually have a very big impact on seniors is the extension for federally qualified health centers or FQHCs and rural health clinics RHCs to do Medicare covered doctor's visits and still be able to get paid via telemed. It would extend this type of doctor's visit for five years after the declared end of the pandemic. And this would ensure that seniors who are most at risk are able to get their routine health checks done via telephone or virtual visit via computer. Lastly, the Heals Act proposal has a provision in it that would establish pandemic strike teams for nursing facilities. In the bill, it authorizes the establishment of federal strike teams by the Secretary of Health and Human Services that will work with Medicaid and Medicare enrolling nursing facilities to offer additional support to these institutions during the pandemic. They would assist with testing for the virus as well as infection control and measures like quarantine, isolation, and disinfection procedures, and would be deployed at the request of the nursing home in the case of an emergency outbreak. This has been your 5-Minute Nightly Dose, and thank you so much for watching our video. I hope that you found it interesting or helpful or at least useful, and if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. Also, we here at California, we know health insurance. So if you have any questions about your health insurance, leave them down below. We'll be happy to make a new video or a new post for that as well. Now, other than that, I'm Michael and this is California, wishing you a happy, healthy day.